oh, where are the nails? I need nails to be like, ah, gotcha. Hey, what are you, sorrow? I'm doing it wrong because the nails don't want to cooperate. Like, look at this. Hey, look at the face. And look at this. I didn't know. But anyway. Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Kitty Ngat. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. If you're new, hi there. Please do subscribe to my channel so you can see more of these wonderful looks. Mm -hmm. In today's tutorial, we'll be doing this very pinkified, very pink, explosive pink happiness. That sounds wrong. Pink happiness kind of makeup tutorial where it's all things pink. Well, except everything else is up to you. Yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed. So let's get started. As you can see, my eyebrows are already done and they look slightly different from the other type of eyebrows I've been working with my makeup look. And these are called the fluffy brows for people with zero to very little eyebrow hair and that you will catch on uh, the Promantic series uh, a video on the Promantic series that I will be uploading very soon and these are the fluffy brows like hey we grew some hair let me not waste time for prepping my eye for this very pink look I thought I should go in with this uh, wet and wild cover cover or concealer palette especially the pink because i just want that pink and uh tone you know just uh to to intensify the pink <laughs> what am i saying to intensify the pink color that i'll be using all over my eyes so I'm just going to go in with that color and just pack it all over my eyelid. Ooh, we look scary. For this pink explosion eyeshadow tutorial, I'm going to be going in with this BH Cosmetic Palette, which is the Take Me Back to Brazil. I'm literally going to go first in with this uh, pink shade. Then for the outer corners, I'm going to be using this darker shade. And for like a bit of transition, because I don't see any transition colors here, I'm going to be using this and once i cut my crease because i want lighter color of pinks i'm going to be going for that but if i feel like the intensity of this pink is not dark enough i'm going to be mixing it with that purple over there so let's get started <laughs> your eyebrows like careful not to go too far up your eyebrows because like that's when it gets a bit clowny it can get clowny really quickly like you blink and then you are there then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and that very dark pink Because it's not as dark as I want to, I'm going to go in with that purple like I mentioned. Okay, because even with this purple is not dark enough, I'm going to go in with this purple as well. So now I'm just going to blend everything out nicely careful not to go too far into the eyebrows so now that that is done we're gonna start cutting a crease and i'm gonna go back in with this palette 
let's just go for the pink and mix it with a bit of white now that we are done cigaring the crease I'm just gonna smudge out this harsh line here and then I'm gonna go in with those darkish pinkish purplish dark purplish all those shades just to darken it there and then I'm gonna go in and stack my other pink which is this one then you know i'm gonna go in that umbre color i'm gonna go from this color to this color to this one so i think i should start light actually so i can just use one brush so i'm gonna go in with the lighter pink it's leaving me quite patchy like but you can see that the concealer is quite dense because I'm creasing already. Let's pack the other color with this more flat brush and see how that picks up. I'm not even blending it. I'm just literally patting my brush on this thing and it is leaving me patchy like why now we're gonna take the last shade of pink and just blend it into the la uh, the darker purple color so i'm just gonna go in with that same brush again try to blend the pinks together so because this is like a seriously patchy mess like yeah thank god it looks good on camera but like i'm not happy i'm just gonna try another technique like with my brush and then go in with that color or oh, let me see i'm gonna check if this palette has a nicer pink color that i can use oh i'm gonna try this one here maybe it's the formula they used for that one Let's just I'm gonna go in and wing that eye with a wet liner. I'm gonna be using the one by Wet and Wild, but before I do that, I'm gonna quickly roll that uh wet wipe and just wipe off the excess. <laughs> glitter up my uh, winged eye with this uh, glitter gold liquid eyeshadow by um, is it NYX yes and I'm gonna take this is it the eye pencil brush yeah the pencil brush so I'm just gonna try dab this onto my already done wing eye I'm going to go in with this Maybelline primer. 
uh for my nose because i'm not gonna go with any anti shine thing i'm gonna go in with this uh concealer cream palette and i'm just gonna rub the color onto my nose and a little bit of my translucent powder just to set that nose area I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Revlon uh, foundation stick in the shade Toast. Uh, just gonna try pack it under my eye. Pat that there and let it sit. Because I want a very glowy face, I'm gonna go in with this. Um, illuminating stick by Maybelline and it will just give me that nice natural glow it's just beautiful I'm gonna go in with my foundation and with foundation I'm gonna be using this one by Yardley and my shade is M2W so I've blended that uh, my foundation out nicely but I feel like my glow is gone so i'm just gonna pat that so i've blended out that um illuminator that highlighter and now i'm gonna go in back with that toast foundation stick apply it under my eye again and this time i'm gonna mix it up with this yellow here from this palette just to brighten it up and with that yellow i'm just gonna Pack it there again and down the bridge of my nose. Whilst we add that, we can just some go in with the darker color and just contour my face. I'll be setting the rest of my face with the same powder. I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Revolution powder and I'm just gonna contour my nose lightly with that. Now that that is done, I'm going to go in and do my under eye and I'm going to go in with this pink over here. So we're very pinkified at the moment and I'm loving it. I wonder if I should go dark. I don't want to go dark, but yeah, it looks a bit funny. So I'm just going to smoke out that color with this purple mixture of these two purples on the outer corner of my eye. Now that that is done, I'm going to quickly line my waterline with a black uh, eyeliner, put on some false eyelashes off camera, and then we're going to come back and finish off this look quickly. My lashes are on, earrings are on, we can now finish off this look i'm gonna go in with uh, my highlighter and i'm gonna be using the palusa of precious petals by wet and wild
the highlighting is done and it's extreme and you know i look nice and dewy i'm gonna go in with this uh, lipstick by revlon and just apply that to finish off my pink look I'm just gonna go over that lipstick with a light coat of lip gloss I have been absolutely loving this insta fix and go setting spray from Rimmel London so I'm just gonna do that and we'll be done with this look You know what we forgot? Blush. <laughs> we forgot blush. But anyway, let's add it. Even though it's a holy lead. I'm gonna I'll I'll be using this BH cosmetic blush and eyeshadow palette and I'll go in with this since we all pinky today. What was pink? Just add a little bit of color. Now that this is officially the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking around till this very end of this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly do so you can see more of these colorful and glowy and ooh, so delicious looks from me. Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye. Sweet, ah, sweet, oh man, look at you, looking all fluffy, hmm, I'm trying, oh man, I'm trying, look at me, 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 look at me,